This week we're going to talk about the use of before and after in subordinate clauses. First of all, we're going to talk about what are subordinating conjunctions, where they're a joiner or a word that connects parts of a sentence. And what do they do? Well, they join dependent clauses to independent clauses. What are independent clauses? First of all, independent clauses can stand alone as a full sentence because they're giving you the full information of what you want to express. And we have an example here. It says, I like tea. It has a subject, a verb, and a complement. I like tea. It's giving you a full knowledge of what you want to express. In the other hand, we have dependent clauses. Dependent clauses are not complete sentences. They do not express a complete thought. For example, because I love to dance. Also, dependent clauses are usually followed by a marker word. In this case, because would be your marker word. I have a subject and a verb, but I also have a a marker word that is telling me that I need something else in order to express a complete thought. In order to use the subordinating conjunctions to join dependent clauses to independent ones, we are going to use these two forms. Number one, we are going to put first the subordinating clause plus the dependent clause and after the dependent clause I will add a colon and then I will add the independent clause. The second form of doing it is I will add the independent clause plus the subordinating clause plus the dependent clause. I will show you two examples. The first one is the independent clause call me, the subordinating clause after, and the dependent clause you arrive to the station. So my full sentence will be call me after you arrive to the station. Another example is subordinating clause that is before dependent clause he contacted me remember to put the colon after the dependent clause and then add the independent clause i was going to call him so my full sentence will be before he contacted me i was going to call him those are two examples of how to use the subordinating clauses even though we only use before and after are subordinating clauses, I want to show you other subordinating clauses that you can use, like after, rather, even though, who, how, that, because, if, where, or wherever. Please try to use them as much as possible.